kindergarten, it's here the week before the holiday break. Now, usually when you're a kindergartner or fifth grader even, and you're at school the week before the holiday break, we have bowling set up. And in the gym, which you're not there yet, we have all these holiday lights. We have bowling lanes spread out. We have big inflatables all over that kind of signify it's that time of year for joy, happiness, and fun. So we don't have that right now, but you got me. So we're going to do our warm-ups today. The thing about our warm-ups is going to be a little different. We are not going to the ground. We are going to make sure we're standing up. We're going to get our arms loose, our legs loose, our neck loose, do some different workouts because we're going to be doing some bowling today. Now, like I talked about with bowling, you guys need to have some of these toilet paper rolls. If you don't have them, go look. Go look. Go ask your neighbors for some. You need six for sure, ten to be awesome. So you need these, and we're going to use any type of ball we have. Tennis ball. I'm even going to use a sock to roll. So there's a lot to use. We're not going to go over all that yet, but right now we're we'll doing our warm-up. So what are we doing? We're going to get warmed up. Simple. A couple minutes warm-up, then we'll get to our bowling. Arm circles. Two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully you guys are all ready for the break. Two weeks off. I encourage you to do a couple things during your break. Every day, go outside and go for a walk or go ride your bikes, your scooters with your family every single day, 20 to 30 minutes every day. That could be 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the afternoon, one long bike ride. I also encourage you to maybe every other day, look at your dream box. Maybe do 15, 20 minutes of dream box every other day. Keep that brain working. My two kids will be doing all that. They'll be taking a dog for a walk. They'll be riding their bikes. They'll be doing dream box in the morning for 15 minutes in the afternoon, 15 minutes. It's not a lot. Also, ham hey, arm behind your head now. They're also going to be doing their reading. Reading is good. We're going to read as well. And switch. So we're also going to be reading every single night for 20 minutes. So there's a lot to do during those holiday breaks. And the most important thing to do is something. Don't sit around and watch TV. Don't play video games all day. Go outside, enjoy the break. All right, let's get our necks up and down. One, two, three, four. Now side to side. One, two, three, four. All right. Now we're going to do something a little different. We are bowling today. If any of you have bowled before, it's where you take a ball and you roll it. So if you watch my form here, I bring it back and forward, back and forward. So right now, we're going to do something a little interesting. I want you to pretend that in front of your face, there is a piece of paper. I see it. Now I want you to pick up that pencil that's next to you, pretend, and write your name. Now, whatever hand is up there writing your name, that is the hand you're going to bowl with. So make sure you put that hand right next to your head. Now, your other part of this is your legs. Whatever the opposite leg is needs to be forward. So my right hand is up. That means my left leg is forward. Now we're going to practice some bowling. So we're going to get our arm nice and loose going forward and backwards, just like this for a couple seconds. This is one of our forms. And now we're going to rock with it. Forward, backwards, forwards, backwards. You get on your toes, your heels, your toes, your heels, your toes, your heels. Just like this for about five more seconds. We're going to do a lot of bowling today, a lot of rolling the ball. Then you also have to pick everything up. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We're in a lot of counting as well. Now shake them out a little bit. Let's do the other side. So. For me, it'd be my right leg forward and my left arm to the side, back and forth, just nice and easy swings. We will also be switching our hands and doing some bowling today. Most of the time when you bowl, you only want to use your strong hand. But since we're going to be at home, why not try both? See what happens. Now start to rock your body a little bit. Now backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, just like that. Five more seconds. And good. Make sure your arms are nice and loose. We're going to cross our midline because part of our bowling today is going across our body. We're going straight through and we finish with our hand up by our head. We're going to learn all about that in our lesson and our activities. So, something to think about right now. So, let's get our midline going. Just easy midline today. Giving you guys a little break with the holidays. 
three, four, five, six. Keep going down to your hips. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going down to our knees. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to our toes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, shake them out a little bit. We're going to just do some quick little jumps like this. 30 jumps. If you don't want to jump, count, jump as long as Mr. Briggs does. Remember, you're on your toes. Ready, you go. Three, four. Ten more. Easy. Shake them out. Let's get those calf raises up and down. Just like that. If you need to hold on, do it. Otherwise, just up and down. One, two. We're going to do three, five of these. Three, four, five. Shake them out. Get those quads. Six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shake it out. Other side. One, two, whoa, three, four, five, and six. All right. Bend down, push out, get the inside of your quads, that groin stretched out. Two, three, four, five, and six. And I told you it's going to be a quicker warm up today. What now? Well, we have a couple things. One, we still have our health video. You can do that afterwards. Two, we are going to have right below this is going to be the bowling lesson. Now, in the bowling lesson, I'm going to go over all the ways and techniques of how to bowl, from what hand to use to hold the ball, whatever ball you were using, and how to come back and forward and let go. A lot of fun stuff today. So what do you need for our lessons today? Like I said, toilet paper rolls. Six for sure, ten if you can do it. Six for sure, ten if you can. I'm making sure you guys know that and some sort of ball. I prefer not a basketball, but remember, we're just going to be rolling this ball. So it'll be a soft Nerf ball, a tennis ball, a dog ball. You don't got any of that? Take your socks, roll them up into a nice ball. Maybe ask your parents at home, your grandparents, aunts, uncles, do they have a big set of socks that you can roll up so it's a nice big ball to roll? So that's what you need. Go get set up with that. You got the bowling lesson right below that. And then after that, our bowling activity, then our health video. Thank you, guys. Kinder, I'll see you guys soon.